Hi, I'm Mike with SourdoughHome.com and BakeWithMike.com. And it's breakfast time, and today breakfast means bagels. As I was thinking about the bagels, I was reminded a friend of ours recently cut herself when she was slicing a bagel. In our bagel classes, hands-on bagel classes, we talk about how to safely slice bagels. On weekend mornings, the number one injury in many emergency rooms is people who've cut themselves slicing a bagel. And I'd like to make sure that you don't suffer that fate. Two important life rules, use a sharp knife and never cut towards yourself. So what happens with a lot of people is they pick up a bagel and a knife and cut like this, get through the bagel, and whoosh. The dull knife especially comes in because it makes you push harder when you're cutting. The knife should do the work, not you. So, a good knife to have is a serrated knife and a thin knife. I've got a number of knives here. This is a very nice uh, chef's knife of a Torinox, but it's not serrated. And to cut bagels, I like to do it like this. It's really a bit big to fit comfortably between my hand and the bagel, so this is not a good choice for this, but it's a very good chef's knife. I like a thinner knife, a bread knife. Or a bagel knife. This is a Rada bagel knife. You can get them for about eight to ten dollars on Amazon and eBay. We've had this one about 15 years. A friend has a bagel shop in Chicago and he used to buy expensive foreign bagel knives until he discovered the American-made Rada at eight to twelve dollars. And they keep going and going, and if somebody makes a mistake and throws it away, it's not the end of the world. It's eight to twelve dollars, not sixty bucks. Anyway, between the hands, like this, and then slice. You have to be much clumsier than even I am to cut yourself like this. Your hands are out of the way of the blade, and you're cutting away from yourself. And here we are, ready to toast. Now, this is a Victorinox bread knife that I like a lot. It's also going to fit in there nicely. And this is a Rada bread knife. It's just $10 to $12. These bagels were a little bit stale, but most stale bread can be revived by baking it for about five minutes at 350 degrees. So that's what we did with these, and they're a lot like new. Uh, Kenji Lopez Alt says there's no reason to toast a fresh bagel. And I think he's right, but I like the crunch of a bagel. He also says a stale bagel can be revived by uh, toasting it. So a good stale bagel can become like a mediocre fresh bagel. Okay, we're gonna toast these and have breakfast.